Hey, my name is Mohamed Darab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the SQL Server agent in a big data cluster. Now, by default, it's disabled. So as a workaround, this is what you have to do. So let's get started. What I have up here is uh, SSH into the master node, and I just ran the AZ data BDC endpoint list command. I get a list of all the endpoints. I'm going to get my uh, master instance endpoint. I have SSMS up here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to log into SSMS real quick. So now I'm logged into the big data cluster. And if you notice right here, it is disabled. Now, when I first did this, I thought probably like every other person, oh, I just have to right click, right? So right click, nothing. Hmm, now what I do? So this is what you have to do. Let's just leave that uh, running there. Now this is Azure Data Studio and I'm still SSH right into the master node of the big data cluster. Pretty much what has to happen is we're going to create a configuration file or in this case, I'll call it msql-custom.conf. This is the example I use on the Microsoft documentation, which by the way, will be in a video description for you. We copy this file to the container running the MS SQL Server service on the master node, a uh, master pod. Then we will restart the SQL Server service from that pod and then the agent will be uh, up and running and we'll confirm that uh, in SSMS. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is we will create this conf file. You can name this whatever, but I'm just going with the example here. And inside, you literally type an a uh, SQL agent in bracket, and then on a new line, enabled equals true. So now we have that, but that's on our local, so we have to push that up to the container uh, folder. And how we do that is right here. There. Oh. Yeah, copy and we paste it done so now we pretty much move this file or didn't move it we copied it to that folder on the again the container running the ms sql uh, server service on the master pod so now we're going to log into that if you notice i like to make sound effects Now we are root uh, master dash zero. So we're actually logged into the container right there, uh, to the uh, pod. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do supervisor CTL restart the service server. So let's go ahead and do that. So you see there MS SQL server has stopped. And then another couple of seconds, it will restart and we'll exit out of the, uh, the pod. And it will go back and check in SSMS and it should show up green. You see now it says MS SQL Server started. Now we have to exit out of this. And now we're back into the master node. Now, and one thing to note is if you have a HA design, so you have multiple masters, you have to do this on each, uh, each uh, pod, each master pod running the SQL Server service. Mean, meaning downtime. So you have to plan for that. Maybe do this during a maintenance window or something like that. But since this is just, a, you know, a, 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 on my home lab, I don't really care. So going back to the SSMS, now if I restart or refresh this, now it's green. Now you can actually open it up and you can create a new job, all that type of stuff. So there you go. Quick steps to get your SQL Server agent enabled on your big data cluster. I hope this was of some benefit. Thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Till the next video, take care and stay safe. Peace out.